Welcome to session number three. It's Wednesday. And on Wednesday, um, now, by, by now, you have already done tutorials numbers one and two. Number two is so important that I'm going to go over a number of the items uh, uh, and revise them. All right. If you have not been for, through tutorial to do it, you have to have to get that uh, those skills under your belt. All right. So what were we trying to do in uh, tutorial number two? We were trying to investigate how to find them. One of the big problems with OERs is that there's no one-stop shop where they're all sitting and you can just go in and find them. All right. They're scattered all over the place. So you do need a number of little search skills in order to locate them. All right, so I am going to highlight just some of the pieces in the tutorial, which I feel you really, really have to know. So for most of us, when we are, are um, uh, looking for something on the internet, we use a search engine and Google, of course, is the big granddaddy, the big one. All right. And Google does actually help us find OERs, but not the main search. So on the screen at the moment is the main search screen, but I can never remember the advanced search URL. So I normally just search for it. And sure enough, there we go at Google advanced search. So this is where you need to come in and you need to use this interface if you are searching for um, OERs. So now you guys are Zimbabwe, the tutorial was all about Nelson Mandela in South Africa. So we're going to do something different today. So let's say, for example, we want to do a search for Great Zimbabwe. All right. So um, uh, in the advanced search, you fill in the first field and then you need to scroll down to the very last field. So usage rights and you click on here and then these options provide you with ways to filter out the various copyrighted uh, materials. So free to use or share, uh, it means that it is um, like all OERs, all OERs are free to use or share. All right, so it means basically any Creative Commons license. Free to use or share even commercially. This means that it doesn't have NC. So remember in tutorial number one, you did non-commercial. It means those Creative Commons licenses does not include the NCs. Free to use, share or modify means that that one doesn't have the NDs. Okay, remember the no derivatives from tutorial number one. And finally, free to use, share, modify, even commercially. So this one must be the most open of all of the Creative Commons licenses, which you know now is CC BY. All right. So if I was to choose that last one and then did a search, then we can find um, some results. All right. So now we're beginning to see um, some results for Great Zimbabwe. If I um, come in and have a look um, Let's have a look. One of these early ones, this one here. All right, so um, it's brought me in. There's a little article about Great Zimbabwe. It gives me some of the history and how, um, uh, where it is and a little picture. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see here, it's a bit small, but maybe you can see Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, which means this one we could use in our projects, et cetera, et cetera. All right. If I was to go back and have a uh, look at something else, let's say uh, one of the, uh, no, we'll do the pictures in a minute. Let's go to, oh, this one here is uh, springer.com. Now, this one's a bit different. This one is providing me with a uh, access to a journal article. So it's more like higher education. So this one here is saying there are new perspectives on the political economy of Great Zimbabwe. So this is a, an academic paper. Uh, we can see it's uh, June 2019, so it's relatively recent. So um, we can also find um, openly licensed uh, resources. Let me just scroll down to the bottom. Yeah. Scroll down, I don't want that. Uh, scroll down to the bottom. Oh, there's some nice diagrams and some maps, etc. cetera. Uh, there's some nice photos. So this could be quite useful. If we scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see this is an open access journal, Creative Commons Attribution, so by. 
Okay. It's as simple as that. You can use parts of it. You can, as long as you acknowledge where it came from, then all the resources inside the journal article, including the pictures, can be used um, for your projects. So keep that in mind then. That's Google, um, uh, normal Google, use the advanced search. However, if you are looking for images, okay, you can always navigate to images.google.com and therefore you can then uh, search great Zimbabwe again. And now I'm seeing all of these pictures. Now, this is very useful if you've got a PowerPoint that you're going or you're putting together a little worksheet or perhaps you've got a little textbook going, but you can't just take these pictures. You keep seeing that it says uh, copyright, copyright. So how do we make sure then that these are openly licensed images? And the idea is you click on the tools button. Do you see that? And now usage rights. And you can say, show me only photographs which have Creative Commons licenses. So now these apparently uh, can be used uh, without having to ask for permission. So let's just look for one. Uh, let's say, for example, this one took your fancy. All right. Um, so if you click on here, you can see it says Flickr. We'll go through to the site to have a look. Um, this was done by John Goodorf, and here's his rights. Um, attribution, share alike. All right, so that means we can take this picture, we can download it, we can use it in our textbook, in our PowerPoint, uh, uh, in our worksheets, etc. So that's cool. We don't have to ask for permission. We don't have to pay any money. Let's just have a look at another one. What else have we got here? Uh, Flickr, more Flickr. I'm trying to get one that's not Flickr. Um, oh, look at this one here. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, so if you click through to this one, uh, look at that delicious scrummy. Who's it by? Oh, it's by Andrew Moore. All right. So Andrew Moore has been putting all his photographs up uh, on the uh, Flickr as well. And there's attribution share alike so you could take this picture and you don't have to ask andrew moore for permission you don't have to pay andrew moore for any uh, any subscriptions or anything it's openly licensed it can go into all your materials as long as you attribute who was the originator or who created the photograph so somewhere on your little resource you need to say attribution uh conical tower great enclosure five by andrew moore and that's it that's all you have to do so cool. All right. So that is your other option then with um, Google. So you can either do a search um, uh, using the advanced search. So let's just do that again. Go into the advanced search, fill in your search criteria, and then ch choose which license you're interested in. Or if you're going to go to images, You're looking for pictures, then um, let's just go. Uh, you go Robert Mugabe, for example, but you don't want to fall foul of any copyright. So you come on to tools, usage rights, creative commons. All right. So now we all these pictures we can use in our history lesson, in our political studies lesson, or whatever, whatever. And um, those ones have. Uh, are free to use without asking for permission. Okay, so that's uh, Google. Then in your tutorial number two, it went on and it described um, it described how to use the Creative Commons search. So let's have a look at that one. All right, so first of all, to get in, you go to creativecommons.org and you'll see there's a search for CC images button at the top. So you click on there and we could say, now we're interested, uh, show us pictures of Harari. All right. And we do a search and it says, um, uh, which license or pub uh, what ones are you interested in? All right. And you can say, I am interested in uh, CC BY. So it'll only show us pictures now, uh, apparently of Harari. Are these Harari? I'm not so sure they are. It looks much further north. Um, let's just go search. All right. Let's try Mutari. <laughs> oh, got 
tricks and dances and oh I don't know I'm not so keen on that all right so it looks like um the well let's just try Africa all right and the, now it's giving us uh images which we can use apparently with Africa and um that one's uh, also looks nice for Angola and Zambia and Namibia. All right. And, but you could say, no, I'm not just interested in the images. I'm also interested in audio. All right. So it says, uh, which ones are you interested in? So you say, give me, I like SoundCloud. Give me SoundCloud. All right. So, um, so now it's finding us some songs, which um, apparently have, um, a Creative Commons license, which allows us to use in our PowerPoints, etc. So if I was to play this one, I haven't seen this one before. Our line. Nah, nah, it's too peffy. I want drums and stuff. All right, what about this one? Yeah. I'm jumping around. Nah. This one? Oh, no, that sounds fun. No French. All right, let's try this one. Oh, looks like we're at a disco. Uh, no, disco, I'm showing my age. At a, at a nightclub. That's no good. All right, what about this one? Nah. I quite like that one. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, this is... oh no. Oh, sorry, I get a bit carried away. <laughs> All right, let's say, for example, we go for this one because uh, I haven't found quite what I'm looking for. I need a bit more time. But if we have a look now here, you can see that it should give us the information. Let me just have a look. Um, it is, having said that, where's the license gone? On this one, I can't actually see it, which is interesting. Normally I can see it on the set, so I'm gonna just choose another one. <laughs> Sorry, we'll go for this first one. I don't like this. All right, they've changed it. So I'm going to uh, jump out. Sorry, I'm mucking you around. So let me rather just do it the way I've done it before because that one is a bit different. So I'm going to just call it up again. Sorry, give me a second. Um, uh, let's go back to search. To be honest, I've never done it quite that way before. So I'm going to go back to CC search and I'm going to use my favorite old CC search. So you see down the top, the bottom left corner, there is um, this interface. So this one I know, the other one is mucking me around. So let me just go for Africa again. Let me choose the SoundCloud. Um, let me go for this one. Uh, that's good enough. It sounds a bit uh, West African. But if I go in and have a look at it, all right, we can see now here's the Creative Commons license. All right, so that, it threw me earlier because it wouldn't show me that I was looking for it. But so there's your Creative Commons license. You can now uh, download this and put it into your PowerPoint, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that is the other option is to use the Creative Commons. All right, so you can use the Creative Commons one. So let me just do that again. Creative Commons dot org. All right, so um, it'll be this screen. Go to search for CC images, and you can use this. I, I got myself into trouble just a few moments ago but you've also got the old search portal down the bottom here. This is the one I know well and I can organize. All right, so that's 
that's Google and that's Creative Commons. But sometimes you already know what you're looking for. So if you are looking for videos, for example, the most obvious place to go and look for videos is on YouTube. All right. So how can you make sure that you um, download only Creative Commons YouTube videos? And it's surprisingly easy. So let's say, for example, we were interested in Victoria Falls. Sorry, I'm doing like a travel log. Victoria Falls. And now it's showing us all of these, these videos of the falls. All right. And there's quite a lot of them because lots of people put up. It's, a, it's such a spectacular site that there are lots and lots and lots of videos. All right. So how do we know which ones um, are appropriate for downloading? Okay, because we want to now put that into our presentation. So you come to this filters button at the top here. All right, filters. And if you look in the fourth column under features, you'll see there's one that says creative comments. So if you click on there, these ones now are available with a creative commons license. All right, this one's quite recent, three months. So I've never seen this one. Let's go have a look at it. All right, um, uh, that looks fairly okay. And then I can say, show me more. And if I look down here, it shows you there's the Creative Commons license. So you can just check first before you download the YouTube video. All right, so now you can either go right click and then, then copy the URL or use the share buttons, etc. However, if you want to take a real copy, then you need to download the whole video, right? And that's not actually possible uh, using the YouTube interface. They in no ways encourage you to take the whole video. But if it is a Creative Commons license, then you're allowed to. It's just that there's no functionality. So um, I would often use a, a little download thing. So I go... Uh, in, the, in my Google, I do a search for downloads the YouTube video. The one I like is this one. So you click on here and then it says um, enter the YouTube link. So I would just go back to my Victoria Falls. I would go to my share button. I would copy the link. I'd go back to the downloader, <coughs> insert the hyperlink in there and just say convert. It says what format do you want it in? You've got some choices. You can choose which formats of interest to you, and then you can uh, download it uh, 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 as an MP4 video. I'm not going to do it because I don't really want it, <clears throat> and I don't want to use up my bandwidth, but um, it's as simple as that. Then you can embed the, uh, the YouTube video, which is now a file, into your PowerPoint um, or into your website or uh, where, wherever you feel you now need it. Because it's Creative Commons, it's allowed. If it was any other YouTube video, it is illegal. All right, so keep that in mind then. Uh, YouTube doesn't mind you linking to them, that's allowed. But as soon as you want to take a copy, then you've got to be very careful that you are choosing only Creative Commons licensed um, uh, materials. Okay, so that was the YouTube one. Let's come out of there. Um, there is an argument that if you are in YouTube and um, uh, you just link to a YouTube video, then you can actually use anything. You haven't actually taken a copy. You are linking to it. So therefore, all of the resources on YouTube are fine. This, is, this works. Say, for example, you're using a WhatsApp with your class and you want to um, give them a YouTube video, you could then just paste the hyperlink into the WhatsApp and then they would be sent to YouTube to look at the YouTube video. Then you can use anything. But if you were wanting to your students to access a video on a USB stick, then you would need a copy. And therefore, that's when you must make sure that you have only Creative Commons uh, licensed materials. All right. The last thing, or, uh, the, uh, the last example that Tutorial 2 tried to provide you with was um, 
repositories and there was a whole load of them and they're all good you must have a look at them but the one that i think for primary and secondary school teachers which is really really useful is oer commons all right so can you have a look at oer commons i've got it up on the screen at the moment they've got a reputation for good quality oers for the curriculum uh, for primary and secondary school curriculums so you could paste in here for example and that algebra is not a great thing, but you can say algebra as part of mathematics. And I'm interested at the uh, the middle school. Uh, middle school is great. The early grades of high school in our talk. Now, I'll be a little bit careful of this one here. The standards. The standards really mean uh, which curriculum are you looking at? In America, they don't call it a curriculum or a syllabus. They call them standards. All right. And you'll notice that if you look at those, they're all particularly useless to us. Uh, Maryland, North Dakota, Pennsylvania, Oregon, Texas. They're, it means absolutely nothing to us. All right. So I would just ignore the standard section. It's not required. Um, uh, just leave it. All right. And then you can say search. And now it's found 336 resources, which are about algebra and which are apparently OER. So we've got one here on beginning algebra. Uh, we've got one here on beginning algebra videos, interpreting algebraic expressions. And you can see the little licenses appear here. They're all slightly different. Uh, CC by NC, CC by NC and D. Um, we've got this one here, an algebra video, um, CC by SA. So let's try this one. So we click through on algebra. It gives us a little description of what we're looking at. There's the license. And then when you think, oh yeah, this is looking good, you go view the resource. All right. And um, uh, it took us here, algebra. So I can then, can I click on there? I'll click on there. Don't I? Wait, wait, I've never been there before. Uh, algebra, change accrued is related to blah, blah, blah. There's a right at the top. I go, yo, you click like that. All right. I'm clicking the wrong place. Um, and play. Let's, well, this one's geometry. I clicked the wrong this button. This slide deck provides a brief review of concepts from geometry and trigonometry that physicists routinely use. This deck is presented in four videos. In the first video, we describe a notion of blah, 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 blah. Um, but to a teacher who has been commissioned to t uh, train the middle school on algebra, or in this case, geometry, then that could be particularly useful. All right. So the trick on this one is to click those little arrows. Okay, so um, OER Commons then, very nice, especially for curriculum uh, items. Let's have a look at one more before we move on. Go back. All right, go back. Let's, let's search for something different. So let's search for, um, uh, let's go for um, home economics. Is that still a subject? Um, and search okay so um on home economics 28 items is a little bit about finance and uh, financing the home renting and buying um home equity loans okay i'm not sure that's quite what i had in mind uh which parent does more in your home rent or buy okay all right so um, a little bit more to do with um, finance rather than, um, okay. <laughs> How to make a cake. Okay. The art of making layer cakes, proper construction. <laughs> okay, that was also what I was quite thinking of. But uh, we can see the license. There's the license by NCSA. And we can go view the resource. It says it's outside of OER Commons, but that's fine. We'll just link out.
<laughs> All right. Interesting. Um, oh, but there you go. You're going to have to dig around, find out what works for you, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So um, I don't want to harp on that. I think you've got the idea. So let's open it up for discussion now. Um, you've seen, hopefully you did it yourself last night. You went through tutorial number two and you uh, experimented with those options that I've shown you very, very quickly. What are people's impressions so far? So I'm opening this up for a little discussion. Um, you, uh, you're, I'm happy that you can put your hand up and uh, you can have the floor for a little while. What works for you? What doesn't work for you? What did you like? What do you not like? Or maybe there's some, some queries you'd like to ask. I'm also looking at the... Um, so uh, Moyo says the function for advanced search, is it only available only on the Google search engine? I'll be honest, um, I've never really used another one. I, I, Bing, I have no idea. Um, so I can only really say, I don't know. Uh, Google, it does work. Um, uh, Butte says, I need to see examples of OER made in Zimbabwe. How do I access them? All right. So um, we're going to look at this in more detail in, the, in a, a tutorial number four. But as a little introduction, I can show you Mopsy Online. All right. Mopsy Online is actually the ministry's OER repository. And we're filling them up with a whole load of OERs. Um, uh, designed specifically for the Zimbabwe context. So if you type in here, for, for example, uh, water, you do a search for water. There we go. Um, now we're be beginning to see, um, do you meet, there's ECB, ECDB, um, there's a section for form six, water properties and the significance to living organisms, forms of water, grade two, properties of water, et cetera. And if we look at this one, for example, you can see it's an audio file. So we can go view and there's a, uh, here's all the metadata. You can see they're all teachers in Zimbabwe who have created these things. And then you can say download. So let's just download. Oh, having said that, it's fighting me. Let me go back and try the other one. Form or state. All right. Property. Properties. So it's an audio file. What do you think the word property means, boys and girls? Okay, so you can see it's like a little audio file. You could stick that into your PowerPoint and then uh, put pictures with it. You could offer it as it is so that people could listen to it on their phones. Um, so, Butes, do you see uh, Felista, uh, Felistas? Do you see that there's plenty, plenty of Zimbabwe OERs? And we're going to ask you uh, after tutorial four to add to the, uh, to the repository. So, um, yeah. Did you see that URL? Mopsy.online. And you can go to, uh, directly there and have a look. All right. Um, what else was in the chat? No, that's the chat. Are there any other questions from the group? Has it, anyone got their hand up who would like to ask a question or make a statement? All right, if you have any uh, questions and you're feeling um, you don't want to uh, draw attention to yourself, then just type it in the chat. I'll have another look in a minute. So um, I told you today is like a steam engine. I've got lots to get through and I've only got another seven minutes. So um, I'm going to show you tonight's homework. All right, so what do you have to do tonight? All right, so let me go back here so now you've done tutorial number one what was the licenses 
Tutorial number two, how do you find your OVRs? So now we want to know what can you do with your OVRs? How can you create, adapt um, and your own OER? So please uh, go to number three for tonight. And while I'm at it, I'll stick the link directly in the WhatsApp. We are group four. All right, so the link is in your WhatsApp uh, for tonight if you want. But basically what we're gonna have a look at is um, why would you adapt them? Okay, so there's a little story here about adapting, but more importantly, what can you do with your OER? So there's a section on the five R's, all right? You can retain, reuse, revise, remix and redistribute so i want you to investigate what do we mean by those so here's a little description make sure in your mind you're clear of the five r's and what it means all right then we have also a little exercise you can do the exercise and then it says to be honest though of the five r's only two of them allow you to adapt all right the first one is revise and the second one is remix. So in the next few pieces, we, we look at how do you do the revisions? So remember, some of these OERs might not be African, they could be from India or from America or this Europe. So how can you then um, revise them so that they talk better to the students All right, here in Zimbabwe? So it explains what tools you can use, uh, what your considerations should be, blah, blah, blah. All right. So can you have a look at that? Um, it even says technically how you would do it, how you would edit. There are some additional considerations um, uh, you need to think, but then there's this one on remix. So you might remember remix is the second option where you can adapt. And this is what I like to do. So remix is really pushing OERs together. So you, not just one OER, but really a combination of OERs to create the uh, the resource. So how to remix open content. There's a little um, example and um, tells you what to, to do. Make sure that you keep your attribution and so on. All right. So that's another thing. And then what about if you're going to create? So a lot of you say, oh, that's all very well. I don't mind adapting, but I really want to offer what I've already got. All right. So then you need to create a new OER. So when you're creating your own one, what do you need to be aware of? And you'll see there's a section here, these three items, very, very important. If you are creating OERs, that you um, adhere to these three items. So make sure that you have a look at those. I'm not going to go into the details. You need to do that. And then finally, the best bit, okay, is the last piece, is how do you license your own OER? So you want that little license plate on like everyone else, all right? So how do you do that? And there's a section here on how to create uh, your, your uh, license plate. The final assignment will require you to stick your Creative Commons license on your OER. So uh, if, if all else fails, make sure you do that last piece on licensing your own resource. Okay. Okay, so that is tonight's tutorial. Um, the uh, can you make sure that you go through and word of warning there is a test tomorrow so make sure that you've been through tutorials number one tutorials number two and tutorial number three all right the test will be on all content from all three of the tutorials so um, make sure you are ready okay so that's enough from me for today are there any queries or questions before we sign off i really have to keep it to 40 minutes today i've got other appointments that i have to move on to so any queries questions concerns frustrations now is your moment to let us know okay i see in the chat Patience has asked us, how do you upload OERs? All right, so that is tutorial number four. So we will cover that in the fourth one. We're going to show you how to upload your resource into EduConnect, the MOPSI 
repository. And then we'll give you advice about how to index your OER on OER Commons. I showed you OER Commons a few moments ago. So how do you get your resource onto OER Commons? So tutorial four will cover that. So patients, I'm afraid you're gonna to have to wait. Any other queries or questions? Jeffrey, look. Sophia, have a question? Okay, we can't really hear Sophia. I don't really think it is a question, unless I'm wrong. All right, any other? I'm trying to mute her because I don't think she's supposed to be hearing. Any other? Right, so I'm taking that as all is good. Um, and that's it. Um, so for today, I told you it really, really had to be 40 minutes. So um, that is complete. I will see you tomorrow. There is another test. Please make sure that you have been through the first three tutorials and um, good luck. All right. I'm just, just having a look at all the messages. And that's it. So thank you very much, everyone. That's it from me today short and sweet, and I will see you tomorrow. So you're free to go. Thank you very much.